who is currently in Zanzibar. And that is where the opposition coalition parties, that's Umoja, Wakatiba, Ya Wanainchi, or Ukawa, are holding their final rally. Vuyo, thank you so much for joining us uh, from Zanzibar. What is the mood like there? A very good afternoon and welcome once again to the Jangwane grounds right in the middle of Dar es Salaam here in Tanzania and that is where the coalition of opposition parties that hope to make history is having its final push rally. Uh, they will be making history for if they indeed win tomorrow's election, it will be for the first time in over 50 years that the ruling party in this country will have been unseated. So they hope um, to perform that miracle and they are quite uh, a ball start and very confident that indeed they will be able to do it. Now to talk to us about how they hope to do it um, is of course Dr. Anna Sengoro who is a senior member of uh, the opposition um, coalition. Dr. Sengoro, thank you very much for talking to us. As the coalition, you are hoping to make history. Never before has the ruling party ever been unseated. How are you planning to do it? Well, first we are prepared for change. We need change in our country because the ruling party has been tormenting us, has been ruling with corruption, has been doing a lot of bad things. We have, a, a, we have two different people, the very rich one and the lower poor people. Now we need change. We are voting for Edward Loasa. He was the, pri the prime minister for two years, but he did a lot in this country. He's a man of people. He's a man who can stand for what he believes. But then Edward Loasa has been the poster boy of the ruling party's coalition, I mean, of the ruling party um, before he joined the coalition government. For years and years, the opposition has been criticizing the ruling party for keeping someone like him who has been embroiled in corruption. I'm telling you the truth. Edward Loasa is not concerned in any corruption the story on Richmond, which was not true. He was not involved. The junior ministers were involved in this corruption over the Richmond company. So he had to resign for the, for the party. He has to resign to save the nation. That was the problem. But to, 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 the, to the good side, he does it. He was not involved in any when did you suddenly realize that that was the case? For, for so many years, you were convinced that he was one of the, or if not the most corrupt uh, politicians in the ruling party. I started, I, I did a research. I'm a politician too, not only a medical doctor. I started to find out since 2002, that's 2008, when 2002, 2008, while, they, they, while he resigned, I wanted to dig it around. I went to America, I went to Europe to look on this thing. I met a lot of people who were involved in this Richmond. I realized that he was not involved. And I interviewed him myself. I spoke to him. I asked him, what did you tell me about this? And he told me the whole story. He was not involved. He didn't sign anything. He received an order of, 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 of not, 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 not cancelling that, uh, that uh, Richmond from the president himself. Lastly and very, very briefly, what is your mandate to him? If he wins this election, if you win this election, what are you expecting him to do? What are the top three things that should be the first order of his business? According to me and him, I know the education of Tanzania will be flying. I know the hospital and health 
will be efficient. I know all the, 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 the teachers and doctors will have access and have a good payment themselves. I know everything will be like this because Edward Loasa is a hard worker man. He's a visionary. He knows what he's doing. I will vote for Edward Loasa. And Tanzanians have decided to vote for Edward Loasa. All over. I have been in campaign myself. I've been moving all over Tanzania. People are really, they really need change. Change. Edward Loas. And if, uh, of course, you lose, you are prepared and ready to accept defeat. According to our research, we are not going to lose it. If the, if the election went well, go well, we are going to win 71%. Thank you very much. Well, Dr. Anna Sangoro, a senior politician of the ruling coalition, but also a medical doctor, confident that uh, they will indeed win uh, this uh, election. Well, we have been coming to you live uh, from uh, the Zimbabwe grounds, and that is where the opposition today is having its final, final push rally here in Dar es Salaam ahead of tomorrow's election. As many of you will remember, um, the ruling party was here yesterday, and that is where they pulled just as big a crowd as you are seeing uh, behind me, if uh, not a bigger crowd. But uh, the numbers you are seeing here of people who have come to these final rallies are never really a true reflection of how the people of uh, Tanzania or the people of any country for that matter vote. Tomorrow the Tanzanians are going uh, to the polls. Will it be this crowd behind me or will it be the crowd that was just as big that we saw yesterday? We will see. We will be keeping eyes on this election. We are here uh, over the next two days. In fact, this afternoon and tomorrow and over the next uh, few days and we'll be bringing you all that will be, can bring you around uh, this Tanzanian election. For now, it's back to the studio in Auckland Park in Johannesburg. SABC News team will bring you live coverage of the Tanzanian elections 2015. From Dar es Salaam, Zanzibar, and Morogoro, Tanzania elections 2015.